So this is the USS Constitution. Some of the forward guns. This wedge here, this wedge handle is how they tilted the gun up or down so that it was designed to shoot farther or shorter. That was the same sign that I saw in the museum. It's talking about the head. That's the bathroom. situation where she's facing multiple uh, ships and she, you know it's not going to be all a victory what she would do back in the day is that she had uh, 46 to 48 sails so with that being told she had about 45,000 square feet of total sailing for those who watch basketball and to watch sports um, the main mast which is the one right here in the middle the first yard arm that would hold the sail onto it so which time this is a mast you would have horizontally yards that hold the sails on the ship the size of that uh, main sail was about same size of the mast buckler, and that's one for the visual sail. And in the summer here during the sailing season, we have all the masts and we have all the sails on the ship. Us as the crew, when we take a ship out in the harbor, we have to physically fold that sail and pull it in uh, when we go underway. It's a really cool thing to see. Which is a real thing about getting stationed here. Do they actually take this thing out or for yeah. very long cruises? About two hours. We're only authorized really to go down to the harbor um, where Castle Island is and then just bring it back. Uh, you ever take passengers or just military people? Uh, if you know someone on the crew, you can get like a ticket in. Uh, but the main one, people like to come to the 4th of July. We're actually currently working on getting a lottery out, which where you submit to it, where you can come as a guest on 